I have so, so many books and it's not even all of them. It's just like one little bin. It's Mahogany. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to talk about books. Books, 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 books. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about my book collection. I know it's not as elaborate as a lot of, <laughs> as a lot of people may have their uh, book collection, but I've always liked books since I was a little girl. I was like a little bookworm. I used to go to the bookstore I was a part of the book club when I was in elementary school. When I was a little girl, <laughs> when I was a little girl, my dad, I think I was like five, six, I don't know, I was young though. And my dad, whenever he used to get the newspaper, I always would get the comic section and the horoscope section. I probably was like seven, like eight or nine or something like that. But I was a little girl and I always loved reading. So I used to get the comic section because at one point, I didn't know how to read. Probably when I was five, I didn't know how to read, but I used to like to look at the pictures and everything. So then as I got a little older, well, as I started to learn words and stuff like that, then that's when I started to read the comics. And then I was asking for the horoscope part. And I know everybody newspaper have like the Ask Sally or Ask whatever, and they talk about like random stuff in that column. I used to read that when I was like eight or nine. I don't know, I was weird. <laughs> I'm definitely, I was definitely a different child, but yeah, so I always loved reading. So whenever I was able to, well, whenever I started really understanding and learning books, I used to go to the library all the time, check out books, of course. And then as I got a little older, I fell out of it freshman year. No, I never really fell out of books. I always read books, but I didn't read it as much as I should have. In college, I probably read like one or two books besides um, like your textbooks and stuff. But when I graduated college, that's when I started picking up books really again, like really, really heavy. I started picking them up again because um, my senior, after my senior year, I was, I really needed some kind of solace. Like I needed something to make me make sense of a lot of things that was, that had happened and was going on in that, at that time. So I felt comfort in books. And that's when I, um, but yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all about some of my favorite books. I'm not gonna show y'all everything because I have so, so many books and it's not even all of them. It's just like one little bin of books, but I have so many tons of books. So yeah, so I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about my book collection and, you know, tell you why I like some of the books. So. I started picking up books again when I graduated college. And this was one of the first books that I picked up. And it's the Joel Osteen. Everybody know this man. <laughs> Everybody know him. I picked up the Joel Osteen. I'm country, so. But I picked up Joel Osteen, Daily Reads from Lit Think Better, Live Better, 90 Devotions to a Victorious Life. So this book, it's not just like a book that you just flip through. It's a daily, you know, you just read daily, like little passages for you. It'll have a section and it'll give you like a, a description of what happened or why he thinks this lesson is important. It'll give you a scripture and it'll give you a prayer and a thought for that day. So I really, really like this book. I know everybody isn't religious. And that's understandable, you know. Everybody, it's free will. You can believe in what you want to believe in. But I really like this book. And I like that it really made me think about things. Reprogramming your mindset, your thought process. Take out all the negativity and put some new things in. So this helps you. It gives you steps to really change your, help your thinking and reverse your thinking. So I really, really like this book. I really, really recommend this daily devotional for anybody, even if you're not having something going on, I would probably, I read it once, but I'll probably pick it up again if I, 
was in another space where I was then, I'll probably pick this book up again. But you really, really liked it. You can read it like a couple times. I did read it twice, actually. I've read this book two times. I did it two times. Once when I first graduated and then one time in 2018. I graduated in 2017 and then I picked it up again in 2018 because I, I just wanted to, you know, get a reboost. So this book was really good for that. All right. And then the next book is My Mother's Rules by Judge Lynn Toller. Y'all know the lady off Divorce Court. And I love her. Like, she is just, I love this lady. She's so wise and she breaks things down and make you understand. And she, she is just, I love her. Of course, well, this is my bookmark because I've been reading it. It's my current book that I'm on right now. Well, really, I'm reading about three books right now. I'm reading about three books right now, but this is one of my books that I've been reading. I take it in the car with me. So everywhere I go, I have this book with me in case I had like a couple minutes. I could just open it up and like read a couple pages. It's telling you how to channel your emotions and not let your emotions rule you, but you be the rule of it. So I really, really like that. And I really, really was in a space where I, I needed my emotions to be under control and i picked this book up and i like it she talks about like her life she talks about her mom's life and her life she gives examples of what made her think that her mom was an emotional genius or what things that her mom did that demonstrated to her that she was able to channel her emotions so i really like that book and the next one, one of my personal and all-time favorites, Art of Seduction by Robert Greene. I know a lot of people have probably seen this book. Maybe, maybe not. But ladies or men, it doesn't matter who. This book, it just made so much sense to me. I started reading ebook. I found it online first for free. I found this book online. And I just was like, oh, it was so interesting. Like, I just wanted to keep reading. He breaks up the art. He breaks up the art of seduction. He breaks up the different types of seducers and the way that they seduce. And he gives examples of how they did it. And he talks about celebrities and stuff are in here. People from real life people. He breaks them down and their personalities and stuff. So I really, really like that. This book is really, really good. I recommend anybody who wants to just learn some things or it's just an interesting read to me. It's very, very interesting. But yeah, so I really, really like The Art of Seduction. It's a really good book. I recommend that. And then the brother to The Art of Seduction is The 48 Laws of Power. Now, I know everybody has this book probably in their collection or so many. This is just a classic. This is a book that you, if you like to read or even if you don't like to read this book. Definitely this book right here. You need to have it in your collection. As y'all see, I, I really been, I read it. Like, <laughs> you can tell I read this book. And I actually restarted rereading a lot of stuff. So these are my little bookmarks and stuff in it. And it breaks up the different laws. And it breaks up, like, it talks about people from the past. The same the same author wrote this book as, the same author as the Art of Seduction wrote this book, The 48 Laws of Power. So it definitely has the same, same format as far as using people from the past to describe the laws. So it's really, really good. Jay-Z even talk about this book a lot. I don't know if you heard, but Jay-Z spoke highly about this book and talk about this book a lot. And if you read it, you will understand how, and you will really understand the type of person Jay-Z is. He probably embodied, he probably embodied this book. This book, it can make you, I just, I'm gonna give you a warning. If you start reading this book, because this book can take you over. So be careful with this book right here because it'll have you like. So another book that brought me so much solace and peace 
was T.D. Jakes, Reposition Yourself, Living Life Without Limits. So I really, 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 really love this book. It talks about going for your dreams and going for it. Don't put a don't put a limit or a cap on yourself. Go for it. Whatever it is that you want to do with yourself and do with your life, don't put a seal a ceiling on it. You're the only person in charge of your life. You're the only person who can tell your, yourself how high and how far you can go. So this is a really really good book. Reposition yourself. Living life without limits. I might read this again. It was a good read. All right. Now, this is another one of my favorites. A lot of people, you know, we have a love and hate relationship with Charlemagne the guy. Black people, I don't care. Every black person need to read this book at least one time. Even if you don't buy it, I think every black person need to read this book. I was really surprised. I didn't expect Charlemagne to do something like this now, but this was a good book. This was a good book. <laughs> yeah, this book is really good. Like, oh, oh, I forgot where I got this book from. Oh. But anyways, so yeah, so this book is really, really good. He talks about his life a little bit. He talks about his life and he talks about how he is in a position that he's in now. And it's really, really good. All right. And then another classic that so many people might have in their collection, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And it's a little small little... Small little book, but it's packed with some whew, some power. You read this book, your whole mindset. Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And this book, what, what it says on here, what the rich teach their kids about money that the poor and middle class do not, this is so true. This book gave me a whole different outlook on working being an employer. It gave me a completely, totally different outlook on it. And I recommend anybody, even if you don't like to read, get this on audiobook or something. This book, we need to read this. Everybody need to read this. This book is a good book. So my next book, I don't have the physical book. I do read some books on my um, iPad sometimes. 10 Steps to Make Your First 10K in 30 days, flipping real estate with little to no money or credit by Max Maxwell. He, if you don't know him, he is a real estate investor. His story is so his story is so empowering and so motivating. And this book, I got the ebook. So he's a real estate investor, and like I said, this book. It's a really, really quick read. I think I do like to have a physical book sometimes, but sometimes I don't. I do like to read on my iPad sometimes. It helps me read faster, actually, which is weird. That's a really, really good book. And then the next book is on my iPad as well. I know a lot of people have probably seen and read this book. It's also a classic, The Richest Man in Babylon. But this has been a really, really good book. I'm actually still reading this one. I'm not done all the way, but it's a book that I heard so much about. So whenever I finally was able to see it on Amazon, I think I only paid $1.99 for it, y'all. $1.99 on Amazon for the ebook because I wanted to see. I just was curious, and it's been really good so far. I'm, I'm really into um, financial advising and books like that. So... This book helps you talk about your money. Oh, and I have a bonus. One more. So this book is in my collection as well. And it was written by actually my auntie. My auntie Eva wrote this book. And it's called My Journey, My Path, and My Passion. My auntie Eva Rivers, she wrote this book about her life. And it's a really, really good book.
Like she wrote me, she even gave me like a little autograph in there. She's so sweet, I love her. And she really put a lot in it. She put her, all her feelings on the page. So definitely, I'm gonna put a link in the bio for you guys to go check her book out. It's available on Amazon. I'm putting the link in the bio. And then I'm gonna give another shout out to my other auntie. Ooh, ooh my auntie Nisi. She also has, she also was authored in a book. Yeah, I'm gonna give a shout out to my auntie, my other auntie, Nisi. She was authored in a book. And this book, and it's in my collection, and this book is called The Voices Behind Mental Illness, Taking the Mask Off. So this is a really, really good read. Everybody in the black community has been speaking a lot more about mental health. So you should definitely go check this book out. It's available on Amazon as well. And I'm going to leave a link for it in the description box. But y'all, that is, that wraps up my book collection. Thank you so much for watching. It may was all over the place, but that's okay because sometimes that's life. <laughs> but yes, I'm going to put a link in the bio of all of the books that I mentioned definitely go check them out if you guys have any good book recommendations let me know put it down in the comment box i would love to check out any books that you guys have read or are interested in and i actually have a lot of books in my amazon cart that i'm going to be ordering i'm really excited about that i've been putting a rule on myself that i have to finish a book before i can order another one so i'm gonna finish i'm finishing up the 10 ways to make money the 10 ways to make 10k in 30 days i'm finishing up that book by max maxwell and then i'm finishing up my mother's rules i'm almost done with uh, max maxwell i think i have like eight pages left of that and then my mother's rules i'll be finished with that book probably in the, another week probably probably i like to try to pace myself but I do want to finish these books because it is some more books that I'm very interested in. Like I said, I am a bookworm. I love books. I love knowledge. I love reading. And I know a lot of people, they prob y'all probably don't read. I know you probably don't like books. Like, uh. But if you don't like to have a physical book or read on your iPad or something, just get the audiobook app. Get audiobook app. Listen to them. Like, let them read the books to you because I'm telling y'all, it's so much knowledge in books that you will never know just by Googling because sometimes you don't even know what to, go what to Google. So, <laughs> or sometimes you don't even know. Like, it's just so much knowledge in books and I think that you should definitely pick up a book or take the time to some kind of way consume a book whatever way you can because I know a lot of people are probably in their cars a lot so you may audiobooks may work better for you so definitely check out that audible app and it might be some more it may be some more apps too that you guys can check out to read the book to you and I know a lot of people don't like to read because they just feel like books are boring but it's only boring to you if you're reading something that you're really not interested in so I would recommend you pick up a book that really piques your interest. If you're interested in learning about real estate, read a book. If you're interested in learning about investments, read a book. If you're interested in learning about how to be a mom or just anything, book, there's so many books out here for whatever that you need. And if you don't want to pick up a physical book, if you... And if you don't want to have like stacks of books like me, I understand. So you definitely just put it on your iPad or something. If you don't want to have that, if you just don't have time to be reading a book, download the Audible app. I'm telling you, best thing, best investment that you probably make. I don't know how much it costs, but I think it's like free for the first 15, 14 days or something. But definitely check it out. I'm going to put the link in my description box. And I'm also going to put a link to all the books that I talked about. If I can find them, I'm going to put it in the description box. So y'all definitely check out my book collection or check out these books. And like I said, if y'all have any other recommendations, put it in the comment box. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and join the tribe. And until next time, don't forget that you're beautiful and you're smart, girl.